Right, everyone, weapon collector here. Right, this is going to be a review and demo of the EK Archery Vlad 8 shot pistol crossbow. So, what I'll be showing you first is just a demo of the cocking mechanism, the general speed uh, that it will shoot without really rushing, and I'll show you the auto loader in a second. Later on in the video, you'll see some general accuracy tests. Nothing special, but I just wanted to show you, using the open sights, how well this can shoot at around about 12 metres. I'll also show you some basic penetration tests to show you how deep the bolts will go into some soap base, which is similar to ballistic gel, using the standard bolts. So we'll see how deep that goes. And then at the end of the video, I'll just talk about the rest of the features of the crossbow and the things I like about it and any dislikes. So this is the accuracy test. This is just again myself. I'm shooting at around about 12 meters here using a standard target just to see the accuracy basically. So a very simple test. Decent distance. Use the open sights. See how close the grouping is. And as you'll see, it's not too bad for that kind of distance, I don't think. I'm shooting reasonably fast. Standing shooting. Open sights that have no adjustments. And you can get an alright, decent grouping, which you'll see next. So that was the accuracy at about 12 metres. The other two bolts fell out the target. For the next test it will be a penetration test to see how deep the bolts go. I'll be shooting into this 2.5 inch thick, I think it is, soap base which is quite a good medium for shooting bolts into similar to ballistic gel but a lot cheaper and also it doesn't rot because ballistic gel being gelatin will actually go off after a while whereas this soap base doesn't it's a good thing if you've never if you've never used it for penetration tests it is good for this kind of thing because it basically lasts forever as well so in a second you'll see how deep the bolts went in and again, this is with the £60 limbs, but I will show this test with the £90 limbs and also in comparison to something like a Horizon Redback, so you'll actually know the difference. There's two ways you can load the bolts on the flat. You can either use the um, auto loader thing or the other way is to manually do it. So you press these two buttons in here. See them there? Open that up and then just drop the bolts in basically. Try to make sure they're flat as you drop them in. I'll show you the speed loader afterwards again. Speed loader is quicker but it can be a little bit fiddly. So that would be the bolts ready. So to do the speed loader, you just put the bolts in similar to how you would the actual crossbow. You'd obviously load this up first. So that would be the speed loader ready to go and it has an arm here that moves forward that releases the bolts when you draw it into the crossbow so what you do is open it up and there is a little bit of a technique to this um, and there's a little groove there where that front of that bit sits so like that and then you pull it back and press it down basically Wasn't 
quite perfect, but you see, you know, it's it's quicker than loading the bolts in my hand, and when you get the technique, it goes quite good. Right, let's see how quick I can shoot these. I'll count them this time. Right, so this is the Vlad. This is one of the newest crossbows you can get now, and probably one of the best pistol crossbows, I think, because of the new mechanism this has got. This has got what I would consider a much better mechanism than the old style ones which have a string in a groove. This has got the proper sort of clasp mechanism. So the bolt is touching the string, and it just creates less wear on the string and all that. So it has the folding stock which you just lift up and fold around and the limbs will come out really easily. You just press a pin out, lift the magazine up and then take that out. The stock you just bring it around, locks it into place. You've got a couple of weaver rails for accessories. I've not put a sight on mine because I wanted to test this with the open sights and this does have open sights. So the open sights are a groove there and the pin here. So it does have open sights, so you don't need a red dot. You've got a weaver rail there, there and on each side, which you can mount multiple things on, flashlights, scopes, um, gun mounts, gun lights, the quiver that holds eight bolts. The magazine is an eight bolt <coughs> magazine as well. Um, the front handle is a little bit weird, but when you use it, you can understand why it's like that. But at a later date, I think I'm going to adjust that um, handle. Put some kind of weaver rail there so I can have a bayonet and a normal standard sticking down handle. And then we'll see how that works. It might work alright, but the, 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 um, the bayonet would be this sort of handle anyway. Um, Dual ambidextrous safety, which I quite like. And yeah, overall, it's very nice. This won't be a full review, I just wanted to do sort of a little bit of an overview and let you know what I think of it. As you can see, the accuracy is quite good. That was shooting at around 12 metres. So that was pretty decent for that, for that distance, I think, with open sights as well. Um, the bolts are reasonably good. One thing I do like about this. is it shoots consistently well, unlike the adder. Well, I don't know. The adder shoots reasonably well, but I find this, I've not had a single issue yet, at all. Um, shoots very well. The only downside I would say is, which happens with a lot of magazine crossbows, is to wax the string and the rails, you basically have to take the crossbow apart, and really you should be doing that every time you, you know, every magazine, you should really be lubing it and putting the wax on. So, there's an issue there, but that's just an inherent issue with crossbows with magazines. That's going to happen with all of them, until there's one you can just take off really easily, put the stuff on, put it straight back on, which none of them do. Um, I don't think, anyway. Not, not as easy as just that, you know, you know what I mean? But yeah, overall, really nice. Quite expensive, but you know, that's the nature of most of these crossbows. There's only one crossbow magazine, there's only one crossbow with a magazine that is cheap, and that's the Redback XR. You can have a laser on this, which I don't have. Um, this is, I'm shooting with the 60 pound limbs actually on this at the minute, so I really need to do the test with the 90 and show you the penetration then and the accuracy then. But with the 60, it's quite nice. I will at a later date do some draw weight tests to see whether this limb really is 60 pounds when it's in the cocking position. Same with the 90, see if that's 90 pounds when it's in the cocking position. Um, I'm going to try some different bolts, including some homemade broadhead bolts, because although these bolts are okay, they're not that good. They're a little bit rattly, 
all of the heads move but these aren't standard bolts they do have an insert in them this tip is actually about that long so it's not a standard bolt it is heavier but yeah overall it is a very nice crossbow the stock is the right length to actually use because a lot of these pistols with stocks they're too short the crossbow is essentially too close to your face so you can't aim properly this is just about right the mechanism to cock it is quite good I'm starting to get used to cocking it so I don't really have to move it a lot so I'll just move it to there cock it and then you're back and then you're not really going like that you're not moving it a lot if that makes sense but yeah overall first impressions and a very basic review I'm very happy with it there'll be a lot more stuff coming though I'll compare this to other things I'll do the draw weight tests I'll do penetration tests um, We'll do a lot of different tests with everything you can think of eventually and I'll start getting some accessories for it. I'll try out the red dot sight on, um, try and get a laser and then I'll add my own accessories as well. It does one the light I think as well, so you can shoot at night, which I'll do. So yeah, there it is, that's the Vlad, that's my sort of general overview review, not a full review, I'll do a full review soon. But first impressions is I like it and about the only downside is not being able to easily put the wax on the string, but that happens with every single magazine crossbow going. So, yeah. Well, apart from the Redback XR, actually, because that one pretty much pulls off with just a um, button. So, yeah, I lied there. There is one that pulls off with just a button. Yeah, yeah there you go. That's the EK Archery Vlad. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. I've got a lot of crossbow videos like this, so if you like this kind of thing, don't forget to like, comment, share. Definitely subscribe, because you'll see a lot of this kind of stuff. There'll be loads of more stuff on this, mods on it, and all that. And, yeah, and also, I've got lots of other crossbow videos. So if you like crossbow videos, you'll like it. If you like weapons, you'll like my channel. Alright? Cheers for watching, everyone. I'll see you later.